Uh, hello, this is uh, Travis Bruno here at Capsule Computers at Anime Magic 2022. I am here with uh, Mew Marie. Um, uh, how's your, con your convention been going so far this weekend? It's been going good. It's been a lot of fun. Very exhausting, but it's always a lot of fun being here at Anime Magic. I'd imagine. I've even seen your booth and it looks very popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so what got you into starting to be a cosplayer? So I started cosplaying back in... 2010 I had a bunch of friends in school who were like let's go to this like cool event where they dress up and they uh, share their love of anime with everyone mm -hmm. so that was like my first real experience with cosplaying and then ever since then I fell in love with it I've been cosplaying for however many years now it's just been my my joy um, was there any particular character that uh, who was the first character I should say that you uh, started cosplay as one of my earliest characters was Haruhi from the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, oh, and then nice. followed shortly by um, uh, Miku Hatsune from Vocaloid. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, just so for our uh, viewers who may not know, uh, who are you cosplaying as right now? So right now I'm cosplaying Chocola from the visual novel Nekopara. Yes, very familiar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> visual novel and even an anime now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> um, so what is your favorite part of cosplaying? Um, Right now, my favorite part of cosplaying is getting dressed up and going out to events. I also enjoy crafting a lot. I don't craft as much as I used to, but um, I really started to enjoy 3D printing. That's mm. been a, a big part of my cosplay right now, as I've really grown into 3D modeling and 3D printing to expand all of my like cosplay builds. Right. So is there mm -hmm. any particular material you prefer to use? Um, particular crafting materials, I really like... When I'm making like armor and stuff, I like using uh, EVA foam. I'm not really a big fan of like thermoplastic, like Warblow and stuff, um, but I'm really um, enjoying like using PLA and like 3D printing and such. I say I'm seen on your Instagram. Uh, you even have went uh, cosplayed as a Red Riot at one point, fully yes. transformed, and mm -hmm. that had to have been pretty difficult, I'd imagine. That was that was one of my that was like my last really big build that was all made out of craft foam okay. and hot glue and a prayer <laughs> trying to hold it all together <laughs> uh any particular character that was your favorite to cosplay so far um i really liked cosplaying um, i'm probably gonna butcher her name because i'm terrible at like the genshin girls names mm. um kaching or catching from genshin i don't know why like okay. i'm not like the best at saying their names but like she's just like my favorite to cosplay because i just really vibe with her character design okay. um it's just yeah she's just one of my favorite ones at least as of recent on the flip side, was there anybody who uh, you cosplayed that was turned out to be like, eh, you don't like it in the end? So this might be like a hot take, but like I don't personally enjoy cosplaying Zero Two. She's oh. like, <laughs> I know everyone loves Zero Two, but like she's just not not my favorite character to cosplay. Just because like I would imagine it, it's like the long wig. Like I'm wearing a long wig now, but like. Her wig in particular is just, I, I don't like wearing long wigs that much. Like, I'm putting up with it today because I'm like, I just want to be a cute cat girl. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just long wigs in general, I'm like, I'm not about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, speaking of, when you're mm -hmm. going to be picking a new cosplayer, a new character you want to design, um, mm -hmm. is there any particular, what is your thought process on picking who to choose next? So, I have, like three different starting points for my mm -hmm. thought process. I'm like, am I cosplaying this for my audience? Am I cosplaying this for myself? Or am I cosplaying this like just because for whatever reason, like the third random category. If like I'm cosplaying for my audience, like I really look into finding um, the character that like is like probably like the best waifu of like the season or like the most popular character mm -hmm. because while I may not enjoy it as much as like cosplaying something for myself, I know that my audience would really love to see me cosplay that character. Right. So um, that's one of my thought processes for that. But if like, I'm cosplaying something for myself, I really like look down and I'm like, I'm thinking, like, do I want to spend all of my time and energy like making this cosplay? Like, What is connecting me to this character to the point where I want to spend hours like crafting and making that cosplay? So it's really like, it depends on the situation for that. Right. Along the same lines, uh, how long on average does it take for, to put together a costume? So for like an easy costume, it can take anywhere from like um, two weeks plus. Um, when I cosplayed Red Riot from Boku no Hero, that took me like upwards of six months because oh, I had yes. to hand cut out everything. So it's it's like a spectrum for that. Okay, like uh, how would Chakla? How long would she take to put together? Um, maybe like so. This one's this one's bought. Oh, okay. But if I were to like make it, it would probably be like a couple couple weeks, maybe like a month at most, because there's like some small details on this. Right. But it's not like too bad in the grand scheme of things. 
so, I'm not sure if you're familiar. I'm pretty sure I've seen you cosplaying as the character, so you probably are very familiar with uh, My Dress Up Darling as yes. a series. Yeah. Um, so, the series has introduced a lot of people to uh, some of the basics and introductions of cosplaying. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you think that's a good way to start learning, or how do you think the tips are from that series? Um, I think it's very, like, situational. I do like the, like, meta of, like, uh, me, an IRL cosplayer, cosplaying a character who's cosplaying a different character. So <laughs> yes. I like that kind of like trend. And when people point that out, I always get a chuckle out of that. And I do enjoy the fact that it's bringing to light cosplaying as mm-hmm. part of the anime community. Um, but like it's an anime, so things are very glorified right. and stuff like that. So it's kind of like you, you got to take it with a grain of salt, but it is it is good. That's good. Um, so, on your, so on the other side, I'm... Um, is there any tips of your own that you'd have for those looking to get into being a cosplayer? So um, my biggest tip would be to um, don't be afraid to like mess up, especially if you're like making stuff, because mm-hmm. it's a learning process. As cosplayers, we're learning about like literally everything as we go. Especially right now, cosplay has really grown as a community. We've expanded into the real world. I mean, not because we're cosplay is such a small niche to begin with in the mm-hmm. anime community, and there wasn't a lot of resources beforehand. So not being afraid to explore into crafting and creating content and not being afraid if something doesn't perform well or something flops or maybe like you don't master a technique right from the get go is like is something to like really hone in on is not be afraid to mess up because we're all learning and we're all growing and that's part of the joy of being in this hobby. Right. And new techniques and materials are getting made every every year. Mm hmm. Um, so outside of cosplaying, uh, do you have any other major hobbies or like, do you prefer video gaming Mm -hmm. at the same time? So I really enjoy, I really enjoy gaming. I do like streaming occasionally. Um, I used to be more favorite game. um, I'm really obsessed with Fortnite lately. (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of weird because everyone's like, oh man, Fortnite. Oh, all right, whatever. But like, I unironically really enjoy it. I've been playing for a couple months now and like, it's literally the only game I play. I used to be really into Dead by Daylight, but I'm like, I'm just like a hard Fortnite player now. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they added that no build mode, and a lot of people yeah. seem to have liked that one. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so, any favorite anime at the moment are you watching, or are you just watching like a backlog? I'm just kind of watching like backlogs. Um, it's been kind of slow because I've been um, preparing for a lot of events and stuff, so I okay. haven't really had time to watch anime. But um, the last one I fully completed was Spy Family. That one, I absolutely yes. loved that. That one's my favorite right now. I know, it's made very popular. Yes. <laughs> Um, so, with the weekend gang to be wrapping up, uh, what's the coolest thing you've seen so far here at Anime Magic? The coolest thing is it has to be, like, all of the cosplays. Like, I know in the pandemic, like, it's been really hard to, like, see and be at events and see other cosplayers, but, like, I was one of the hallway contest judges, and okay. I saw some, while I was only judging the hall contest and not the full right. show, I saw some really immaculate, like, beautiful cosplays, and that's, like, the thing I love to, the most is seeing everyone's beautiful outfits. All right. Right, um, so to wrap up, mm-hmm. uh, where can our viewers um, find you on social media? So you guys can find me on Instagram at Mew Marie. Uh, on my Instagram, I have a link to all of my other links, but uh, I'm Mew Marie on Twitch, um, Mew underscore Marie on Twitter, and anywhere else you can find me, be the link in my bio for those. Right, uh, thank you for your time, and hope you have a thank rest, you so rest of the day. Thank you.